Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are here for the wedding content, this video is for you. If you're not, you can stick around too. I do a lot of fashion and lifestyle content and I am currently planning a wedding. And so there's been a little bit of wedding content sprinkled in with the lifestyle content. In any case, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff that I got for some bridal bridesmaid proposals and I'm going to show you a little haul of everything that I got to put in the bags. I decided to go with bags instead of boxes because I felt like boxes, one, if I go with the paper or the cardboard or anything felt a little wasteful or two, I feel like everybody's house has a different vibe. So I don't know. I don't like mismatched boxes. I have a lot of them and it irritates me. So I just felt like it wasn't going to be very useful to, to my bridesmaids. If you guys are watching this video, all of them should have already gotten their bags, um, so it's fine. I can show you guys this part. But I just felt like I hadn't seen too many of this type of bridesmaid proposals. So I want to put it out there if you guys want to see something like that. It's also 7 p.m. at night, so I'm going to try and hurry up and talk through this video. And for those of you who've been here for a little while, I do want to mention that I am planning on getting a wedding planner. I've been toying with the idea back and forth. I thought I'd just spring all this information in here because I did talk to a wedding planner yesterday and I just I think I fell in love with her. She's freaking amazing. Her vision, my vision just we just understood each other. Hey, Hi! <laughs> Pretty good. How are you doing? Okay, let's get into some of these bridesmaid bags. So I already have a bunch of things already in here kind of sprinkled throughout and I got a few things made. So I'm gonna show you where everything is from. Um, the first thing, the bag, the main thing, I got these bridal bags from Etsy. I got them customized. I'm not super into the whole customized name monogram thing. Um, so I wanted to make it as useful and as minimal as possible. Um, and these bags are just so sticking cute. They're like these uh, canvas like burlap bags. And I thought these would be so perfect for summertime. We're having a summertime wedding and I thought it would like, you know, I just felt like it went with the vibe, you know? Again, if you're new here and you might not know, my bridesmaids are just gonna be my sisters and that's it. Uh, you guys know Abby and Nina and then Miles' sister, which is my sister, you know what I'm saying? There's only three bridesmaids, so I did wanna, you know, get them something cute, but also I feel like they're all very like, like they're all very classy women. So I want to get them something that they could use when they go on their vacations or their trips, um, but it's not gonna be like, hey, I was once a bridesmaid, you know? And let me just show you what they look like with all three of them. So I got one for Nina, Abby, and Deja. Ugh, I just think they're so cute and they're very, and like they're such good quality, very sturdy, very thick handles, love them so much. And I love this font as well. And I'll link the Etsy store down below. I really thought I wanted to get ready and get glammed up and do this video, but honestly, I'm driving to DC today and I'm taking these bags with me and I don't, I really don't have time <laughs> to get glammed up. I did want to make this video and show you guys um, some, uh, some of these because I do plan on posting them on Instagram, so I just thought I'd show you guys. Um, next thing that I got is these uh, handmade wick, are these called wicker? I don't know, but these uh, boxes, but I'm Ethiopian and this just remind me so much of like the hut homes in Ethiopia. And we also have in Ethiopia, a lot of these handmade uh, boxes and like the little like thingies. So it just felt so traditional to me and I loved it. Since I saw it, I was like, wow, way to incorporate just a little bit of like our Ethiopian tradition into the wedding. Obviously me being Ethiopian, Miles being American, bridesmaid boxes is very much like an American tradition. So I did want to incorporate something Ethiopian into it. So all three of my bridesmaids are going to get these. It's just an empty box. I thought this would be so cute, even like as a hand towel thingy. Um, I think this would be so adorable even as like a jewelry box or anything. So again, nothing to tack your monogrammy. Um, I'm so sorry if you like monogram, no offense to you. I, I don't, <laughs> I'm just saying for me, you know, for me, this is just, uh, I think I want to just get stuff that my bridesmaid would use and be able to celebrate, but also remember, oh my God, I got this for my sister's wedding. 
me. Next, I got a big pack of these satin scrunchies. I got two pink and one black. I wanted to get all pink or all black, but that's just a pack that I found. Honestly, I think I got them at TG Maxx. And what I'm planning on doing with these, um, I just thought they were cute and nice and handy. And I saw an idea on Pinterest, so I thought I'd grab it. I also went to FedEx today and made these little cards that say uh, to have and to hold your hair back. So I thought that was funny and I'm, yes? You love it? Oh, I'm so glad you love it. I just got Miles some cover and he's obsessed. I knew it. So this is kind of what it's gonna look like with the hair tie. I think it turned out really great because I just uh, made this. I love the color tones and everything. It's very muted. Love the writing. I feel like cursive is kind of in all of these. So I love this. I'm gonna put this. I've been debating whether to put this in the little hut thingy. I think I might. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So just like leave it in the little hut thingy so that they can open it and it's a cute little surprise. Ooh. And I, I made that little card from FedEx. Did I turn off the autofocus? I'm sorry. I feel like it's getting darker so I'm gonna get closer. I got them printed on cardstock paper from FedEx and I printed out the template from Canva. So if that's something you're looking into, uh, super easy. I think it was like 30 bucks to get three of those made and printed and cut accurately and also made these cards. And I wanna write very thoughtful, heartfelt, tear-inducing notes in these. And these are the little cards basically saying Nina or whomever, um, will you be my bridesmaid? Um, Loki on the inside, I'm gonna say, but you don't have a choice, honey. <laughs> you've been selected. Oh, that's what I said. I should have said you've been selected. Anyways, I thought it was cute. It has a um, little bit of that gold print. And again, this is a template from Canva that I kind of customized, removed a few things, added a few things, just made it cute. Then I went to Total Wine and I wanted to get some mini champagne bottles, but they didn't have the Moet the mini Moets because I felt like the Moet is more like traditional or whatever. But instead I saw this one right here, which is a black bottle and it has like these gold shimmers. I don't know, something about it looked so cute and bougie and celebratory. And the lady at Total Wine said that they don't, they ran out of the, like the full size of these. Um, that's how you know they're so good, but it is Prosecco. So it's still gonna, you know, um, because it's with the, the little champagne cork in there. So, I'm gonna add that into the bag as well so that, you know, if they want, I'm hoping that's what they do, that we can like shake it up and shake it up and just, you know, open it and celebrate the fact that they said yes. Next, I also got these eye masks from Ulta. Um, again, really was focusing on that color theme, some, some very muted colors. So I'm gonna leave that in there as well for them. And the last, but not least thing that I'm gonna put in these bags. I just went to Harris Teeter and you can go to Trader Joe's if a, if a Trader Joe's is closer to you, but I just picked up some baby's breath and I'm not super... One thing about baby's breath is that even as they dry, they're so beautiful. So since I'm driving today, I wanted to get it today as opposed to any other day. And I'm just gonna have it sitting on the edge because I think it's just so stinking beautiful. Um, I might cut it down just a little. Oh, actually, no, it's perfect. Oh my God, I think it's so beautiful just for presentation sake. So this is kind of what it's gonna look like. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I don't know, I'm so proud of it. I think it looks so beautiful. So that's what all of them are gonna look like. I'm gonna, Miles is going home this weekend to go see his sister, and I have to go home this weekend to go see my sister, so it's gonna be perfect. I told Miles to FaceTime me when he gives his sister um, the bridal bag, or the bridesmaid proposal bag. Um, so that I can get her reaction, and I can like be there when she answers. So it's not too much, it's not crazy, but it's also not too little that they feel like, you know, oh, like what the heck is this, it's so haphazard. Um, because I did wanna put a lot of thought and time into it. So I love it, I think it's beautiful. Um, I'm really excited for them to see it and to be excited about it because I mean at the end of the day let me just tell you guys I <laughs> know nothing about wedding planning and they have been so helpful so uh, this is more than I can ask for like they've been my sisters have been holding it down 
somebody asked me, they're like, well, it's your sisters. Like, obviously they're gonna say yes. But although it may be obvious and they don't have a choice, it is still nice for like, just to do something nice for them while we get the wedding planning started and for them to get kind of excited about it. Um, they drove down here just to pick out my dress. Um, Deja has literally been driving, like literally was driving everywhere just to help me pick out the venue. So this is like a very small token of my appreciation for them. So if you're not super into like getting bridesmaid box or whatever, I mean, you don't have to, but I think it's just a nice gesture. It's cute. And it doesn't have to be that much effort. Like I said, like I literally went to FedEx printed this out and the little hair tie. I went to TJ Maxx to get the hair tie. You went. To, I went to Total Wine to get the uh, mini Prosecco. And the most effort I had to do was honestly just go to Etsy and get the customized bags. And even then it was not super painful or it wasn't super expensive. And I think maybe it wasn't expensive for me because I only have three bridesmaids. So if you have a lot of bridesmaids, maybe you can do a box and you don't have to do um, these customized bags. So let me just show you guys what the final look of these. Oh my god, this looks so. I should have gotten all black. This looks so good in black. I'm trying to show you guys, but I can't tell. Looks so good. Whatever. You guys will envision it. Okay, here is the final look of the little bags. Oh my god, they're so stinking cute. I'm in love with it. Okay, and the inside kind of looks like this. Has the card, the face mask, the uh, jewelry box, and the Prosecco. And it's nice, simple, nothing crazy in here, and easy to travel around with. Um, and they can use it in their everyday life. Okay, I just looked at my camera and I feel like I was out of focus for half of that. I am so sorry if I was, but these are the final bridal boxes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, oh wait, I'm gonna include the clips of them reacting to me giving them these bridal boxes. They had no idea that I was gonna make this. I did not tell them. I can't tell you how agonizing it's been not getting their ideas for making these. <laughs> Because usually I run every single idea by my my sisters or my parents or something and not having somebody to bounce idea off of to see How to make these has been agonizing, but it's fine because I'm gonna show you guys So their reactions are gonna be and hopefully it's gonna be good. If not, they have no choice It's the beauty of family. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get ready for my very long drive down to DC I'm gonna catch you guys in a little bit. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. All right, Nina, close your eyes. Close your eyes, everyone. Okay, here's your guest. Oh my god! Oh, stop, this is so sweet. Turn the background, turn the background. This is so sweet. Wait, will you be my Yeah, you said yes already, right? Wait, uh. <laughs> Okay, just go look inside. Go look inside. Go look. So look at the cute. stuff that you got in there. I love this. Got a little bottle. Got a bottle. Prosecco. Yes. Oh my god, this is so cute. Wait, this is actually so cute. Look at this. Little jewelry box there. Love this jewelry box. A little hair tie to have and to hold your hair back. Oh, this is so sweet, Hey, we got a little eye patch mask. Yeah. This is so cute, wait, stop, I'm gonna give you a hug. Are you gonna say yes? Yes, yes, yes. No, oh my god, Do yes! No! <laughs> oh, this is so cute, I love that it has my name on it too. Yay! Oh my god, you are yay! Oh my goodness! one of these is at Nina's. Because we're gonna open the Prosecco! Stop, this is so cute! Oh, Can yeah, we help awesome. you? Yeah, it's so cute. This is like the cutest it is. thing Isn't ever. it so true? No. -uh. 
Um, this is a different color. I like my color better. I like this. Wait, look, look, look at the message. Yeah. No, 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 no. To so have it so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um. Oh my God, wait, this is so cute. I love this. Yeah, so are you gonna say yes? Absolutely. Cheers. I'm so sad that I didn't get a chance to get Deja's reaction on video because Miles told her and I wasn't able to record it on FaceTime or anything, but I think she said yes as well. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration. Let me know if you are a bride, what your wedding date is, um, if you have one or how far along you are in the planning process. And I mean, girlies, let's get together and plan our wedding together.